Fiona? Beauty, what are you doing here? Do you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound? We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition, so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that should have been locked away. Maligula! After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again, with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Ah, you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here! This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. This is where they sat! <laughs> These new pins, the very latest. bought that now. I was just about to raise the price.
don't think I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never... Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Actually, I don't want to go to the collective unconscious right now. Honey, how big are the bees around here? Is that the real field mobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater! Oh, great. Bees love me. Fieldmobile needs a tune-up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. What's wrong, bees? Smoke get in your eyes? Smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. Witch, you don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but, but you know these bees are so demanding. 
Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait, Cassie! Who's she? There's a narrow slot that I don't think I can fit through. I don't think those are regular honeybees. I think they're like Citanium Enhanced Psycho Bees. I do not love bees. Those are some angry bees. Cassie? Shh! They'll hear you. Would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once. 
when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends, ha, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you if you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Where did you look? <sighs> I looked in the children's corner, but it turns out that place is more dangerous than it sounds. Don't worry, I'll find those books. Don't! You'll make me look bad. Don't worry, I'll find those books. Don't! You'll make me look bad.
not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Seriously? No. Stupid enabler! Stupid but well no. 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 Can't handle your energy right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raz, and I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Please, Lady of the Lake, I need some help. Are you fighting a dragon? No, I'm fighting a... a librarian. I see. Please, Lady of the Lake, I need some help. Are you fighting a dragon? No, I'm fighting a... a librarian. I see. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Having fun? This thing doesn't even have a saddle. <laughs> What's the axe for? Bookworms. They hate my family. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They hate my family. Hi, what's your name? Golden Tag, Ich bin Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh, where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Not to worry, it was his secret wish. Really? I think so, that's why I pushed him. So glad you're a fictional character in someone else's mind. Well, now that we met, I'm in your mind too. I'm so glad you're a fictional character in someone else's mind. Well, now that we met, I'm in your mind too. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book.
Cassie, you gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype. You need most right now. Is it a trickster? A wise mentor? Or maybe... Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Your archetype Forever will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hey! Not now! I'm working! How's it going? Mm, feeling a bit flat. <laughs> Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute! My clone thinks he's real. We make a great team. I think we should see other people. Hey! Not now, I'm working! My oh, dogs are barking at him go. So Not a good idea! I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Ew, That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then... I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Hi there. Lub dub. What was that? Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Uh. Lub. Uh.